with this rune puzzle, what you want to do is find the runes uh, that make up this silly symbol in the middle of the board. Let's see, this is easy. There we go. That is uh, more difficult. Okay, I think this, and then that, yeah. And then the letter H. Oh, oh, no! And if you make a mistake, you have to do the entire thing over from the beginning again, because that's fair. I'm lying. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. It's, 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 it's like cheating. Um, okay, T, and then that, uh, and then that. Got it. Those together, and then this big line, and then that down again, and this, and then H, and this. Okay, puzzle solved. Okay, so we've activated the magic mirror, and now we can talk to Romeo. Romeo, who's just standing there. Here, Romeo, I've got the amulet you need. I will throw it through the mirror to Romeo. Everything, Jules. Uh, it's okay, Juliet. I still love you. I will love you forever in a day. Especially if that day is Saturday. So here's a puzzle. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to come up with a joke, and I have no idea why Saturday would be the only day Romeo loves Juliet, but apparently that's the way it works now. Anyway, what you want to do is do one, two, and then three. Put the crystals in that order until they all light up. Okay, Gaspar, I'm at the volcano. I have no idea how you beat me here. I was like literally five minutes away and you were hours away. You walked right into my trap. <laughs> is she really worth dying for? Let's find out. You only have enough time to save yourself. Or, huh. decide. Oh no! Oh no, I have to decide. Will I save myself or Juliet? So that's actually a, a fake decision. I don't have to decide. Gaspar's just gonna stand there and do nothing while I try to save Juliet. Yeah, seriously, I don't know. I don't know what Gaspar's plan is. He did kind of throw a couple of couple of fireballs at me, but nothing, nothing major. So he's just gonna stand there and not bother me. Thanks, Gaspar. You're your pal. Okay, I get to put the crown on this guy. It's more like a helmet than a crown. Oh, and we have this puzzle. We've seen like 50 of these puzzles so far in this game. It's you want to just press all the buttons. Get all of them to light up. When you press one button, it affects other buttons. That's that's how it works. I mean, we've seen several of these puzzles already. Okay, and there's the magic staff, which will come in very handy later on. Uh, actually, towards the end of the game. Wait a minute, we're at the end of the game. Oh no! And this puzzle is kind of a monster puzzle. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to. Let's do it on easy mode. So let's see, we need this to go right, and then it'll go right, down through here, and then down to the exit. Good. Blue will, oh no, not that blue will get stuck. Okay, so blue will go left, and then left. No, 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 go down, down, and then down, to the exit, great green is gonna go 
this direction and that direction and down and then down to the exit. Purple is going to go left. Nope, it needs to go down here. Down. Let's just put both these down to the exit. Great. Not sure what yellow. Yellow will be down. Not sure what direction yellow is going to go in. Okay, that will be down. And then that can be left just in case it goes either way. And then down. Okay, good. out the pathways is kind of difficult, but as you can see, things are flowing along the pathways, and one of the things is wrong, but the game doesn't tell me which one is wrong, making it kind of impossible to figure out how to solve the puzzle. I don't know if you got to see which one went wrong. I, I, I couldn't see it. I was looking at five things at the same time. In any case, I have the spill of the elements, and so I can save Juliet. Juliet! Don't be sad, Juliet. You're safe now. Okay, so I saved Juliet. Hooray! I think the game automatically switches over to Juliet at this point. We're switching over to her. For Romeo, look out! Oh no! He did shoot a fireball and kill Romeo! Kind of. Not really. Oh well. We're gonna save Romeo here with... A convenient wire saw. Wow, that is convenient. Okay, so that gives me a dragon head. Use the dragon head here to melt this. I'm gonna use both those items here. I, I mean, I'm gonna use the stake. Oh, don't forget that dragon staff. That's a pretty good dragon staff. Okay, the stake and the chain. So Romeo can pull himself up. Because obviously, obviously I can't pull him up. You will never be together! I will make sure of it! I will watch both of you die in each other's arms! This I vow! Sorry, Gasper, but this version of Romeo and Juliet doesn't end with both of them dying. Yep, and uh, we're gonna switch to Romeo. Throw Gaspar in the volcano. Wow, kinda violent there, Romeo. Pretty violent there, Rose. Yeah, very violent. But I think it's going to work. I think this plan will work. We're just going to throw Gaspar in the volcano. That's the only way to defeat him because he had some sort of magical spell in his volcano heart. I think. I'm not sure. Here's a hidden objects challenge. Okay, so there's fire, there is a magical order, he got a cup, and it was sunny outside. He wanted more power, so he used his mind, and there was an evil shadow, and he had a book, and there were magma balls. Ah, and he took over the volcano, and there were skulls there, and it was very smoky, and the one guy was turned into a cat. That is totally, totally the story. Okay, obelisk picture. That's for this obelisk here. Can I solve these puzzles before the end of the game? I don't know. Okay, let's move. What you want to do is solve this from top to bottom. Beautiful. Okay, so this gives me a bone and a key. So I can get two more items here. Gaspar is still standing in place doing nothing, conveniently for me, and I have fireproof gloves, which are inside magma, so they really should be destroyed at this point, except they're fireproof, so they can't be destroyed. Okay, hook in here. Shackle to hook. Need to use fireproof gloves here, because that's a hot chain. And there we go! Now, Juliet needs the second part of the staff. We have to hurry. Throw me that other part of the staff. I've got it here, Juliet. I'm gonna throw it underhand. Good catch, Jules! I don't know why I call her Jules. Anyway, um, now that she's got both halves of the staff, she can put them inside this dragon mouth. So I'm going to use 
this is staff here just to knock this over. And now for the final puzzle of the game. Of the main game, anyway. There's a bonus game. So what you want to do is go along the pathway that the game shows you. See, this is the pathway. It's pretty simple. Go right and then down. Okay, okay. This is the difficult one, but it's not too difficult for me. No! Okay, so it goes up one, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, duh, duh, got it. Okay. Yay! Juliet, my love for you is everlasting. Nothing can tear us apart. Not even volcanoes. Aw, and they've got a little heart indicating they love each other, and it's romantic. That was Dark Romance, Romeo, and Juliet. Stay tuned for the bonus chapter, the bonus game. Uh, once you beat the main game, you'll unlock the bonus game, and I'll be uh, starting that in the next video. Congratulations, you can play the main game and can play the bonus chapter. It's in the extras section right over here. Cool. Thanks for the info.